everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I will show you how I organize my bench, where I keep my tools and how I use my bench for work. If you're curious how to put this bench together and set it up, make sure you check out my previous video, which will be linked in the description box under the video. And today I will show you exactly how the bench looks like and all its features. This bench is made by Dorsten, so I will link their site under the video as well, so you can check it out for yourself. And now, yeah, let's jump right into the video. So this is the bench. I think it's great upgrade for everyone who needs proper workspace. It's extremely solid, it's very heavy, and this is something that will last you for years, possibly a lifetime. <laughs> so, and not just yours. So yeah, I love it. It's a very large piece of furniture and now I can actually do almost everything in one place. If you've seen my DIY benches that I had before, you'll know that I was able to do some jobs in one place, but I would ha actually have to move around a bit, especially for all hammering, cutting, even soldering in some cases. So this one definitely offers you this space for everything, <laughs> really. So let's start on the top here. There's a lot of space here. You can keep almost all of your tools handy and you know, just within your reach, which is brilliant because you can comfortably sit down and you have everything still very close. And that's what I really love about this one. With my white bench, I had to stand up most of the time. So I am really happy that now I can actually sit down and this bit here is excellent because it keeps everything on top of your bench. So nothing's falling off the bench anymore. And that was the case with my previous one. So that's great. And moving on here, we have a middle drawer in here, which I personally use for keeping like a silver scrap, unused uh, bits of wire and like all of the little bits that I want to use while I'm working but I don't want to keep looking for them so I just found it the best to keep them right in front of me here that's for me the most comfortable underneath here is a little steel metal like drawer <laughs> thingy which uh, had this uh, soldering board before but I actually prefer to keep it on top of my bench rather than here because it's just less work for me to move things around because obviously you have to make sure that nothing's in the way when you're soldering so that's why I prefer to keep it on top of my bench so coming back here I would move these things just a little bit and this one just a little bit here sometimes I even keep it over there and I'm good to go with soldering um, to be honest this is everything I use for soldering this is my whole station so not complicated at all um, this is actually on top of there we go like a baking tray like this so it's elevated it's not directly on the bench which I find perfect because I'm not risking any damage to the bench and it's just safer for me so that's what I use and this is just a little smaller soldering board that I attached to Lazy Susan so this way I have spinning <laughs> a soldering board and on top of that I use soldering brick which in my opinion is the best for soldering it just reflects the heat perfectly and I really like it. And also the a little bit of wire which helps me to again elevate the silver pieces a bit when I'm working on them. And that's where I have my borax cone and dish. That's where I use to create flux. 
and it's my quenching bowl. I don't have my pickling station here actually because I'm currently in the process of transferring between my old broken crock pot to another solution that I will show you in another video. But that's where I keep all of my tweezers and soldering paste. This is where I keep my files, different ones, also quite handy. And this is where I keep all the pliers and buffing sticks, things like that. And that's my torch, still using good old Dremel. This one, I purchased my Dremel three years ago, two years ago, and I've been using it until now. It's, it's very good. It's not inexpensive. Obviously, it's not like proper jeweler's torch because I can't really use it here now. But once I can upgrade, I will upgrade, but this is good for the time being. And there's more tools over here. This is a little <laughs> sorting uh, thingy, spinning thingy with all of the bits for the rotary tool by Fordham, which I keep just over here, which is very handy to reach over here. And then, yeah, so which side should we go now? Let's start with the drawers. As you can see, there's many drawers here, something I didn't have before, so I'm really excited for them. There's six over here, two smaller ones and four bigger ones. So let's start from the top. In this one, I keep my silver, the one that I'm using most often. So wires, some metal sheet, um, some smaller bits and bobs, and bezel wires. It's all in here. Oh, and, and chains. So this is the first drawer. And then in the second one, I think you're gonna like this one. <laughs> I keep some of my gemstones. My collection grew <laughs> since the last time I showed you my gemstones. So let me know if you'd like an updated video. But yeah, here we have some beautiful azurite, um, malachite azurite and amethyst, yeah. And also some of the turquoise that I already have bezels for. So that's what I really love about drawers, that you can keep items flat. And this is, a, all of these are paper with double-sided sticky tape. So, you know, I can organize it on here, but it's not gonna fall off. So it's easier to store and access whenever I need it. Then in the next one, I keep the hammers that I'm using most often, which is obviously heavy brass mallet and rawhide mallet. And this old cheap <laughs> hammer, which is rubbish, but actually I found out that it's perfect for one important job, which is hammering my discs for my necklaces. And that's why I kept it. See, you never know. <laughs> I use different hammers and none of them worked, so now I keep this one. And this is a drawer with more hammers, ring measuring tool and ring mandrels. And then on here I have more bits and bobs. This is a um, hammer handpiece for Thoradom um, plex shaft with actually already attached engraving adapter by Lion Punch Forge and Pepe Tools because I'm actually learning to use it. And as you can see, I have just bits and bobs in here that you're using every day, like Renaissance wax, <laughs> binding wire, alligator tape, measuring tools and double-sided tape. Yeah, things that I really want to keep handy and just close by. And the last drawer, is polishing tools, some of the polishing tools, and saw blades. Yeah, there we go. This is, uh, these are my Luxy polishing compounds. I just found it very handy to keep it in here and in a separate box as well. And yeah, so that's what's here. Yeah. Moving on over here. This is actually a little adjustment that I made myself. So I cut out this 
wooden uh, shelf here because I wanted to have more room for my legs. So that's why I did that. And then here we have this big drawer um, with metal lining here um, that catches everything that falls off your bench. So when you're sewing or, you know, doing things like that, everything will go in here. That's where I keep the little paintbrush to move it all to the side here. I just find it more comfortable. And that's where I keep the scrap. And then here we have a little like work top, <laughs> something you can work on. So you have one over here and then you have another one here. I mean, how much room is that? <laughs> that's where I keep my pencil, beeswax for sewing, some more gemstones and sticky tape on the piece of paper because I actually use it for making bezels. It's just easier to keep it in one place. And this is a little work bench top, work top holder, <laughs> work holder. <laughs> um, it's just very handy to uh, hold your pieces that you're working on in one place so it doesn't move. And yeah, so let me put it back. And this is the peg that came with the bench, which is removable. I could bolt it down because I've seen others do that. So it, you know, you can't really take it off anymore, but I don't actually want to do it because I enjoy the fact that I can take it away and not have anything over here and then put it back. I don't actually use it for sewing. For sewing, I just really love my old uh, peg from Cooks and Gold, uh, which has all these little cutouts. So I just attached it on the side here and that's that works for me. Uh, but this one, I kept it because it's just excellent to put any uh, other pieces on here. And it also helps me when I'm um, polishing or, you know, sanding with the rotary tool. So that's why I like to keep it here. And over here are little holes for you to support your ring mantle. So let's say you are hammering something, you can put it in there and it just helps you to support it, which is great because this bench is all about making your life easier and your workflow better so yeah i i guess that's my main thing that i want to say that my workflow got so much better having a bench like this on the wall here i've hung my you probably recognize this bit i've had it since the beginning it's just a little basket that helps me organize more of my tools. That's where I keep gloves and apron, 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 <laughs> face mask, Googles, saw frames. Um, one is by New Concepts. The other one is by Green Lion Studios. A little string. I don't know what it's for. <laughs> Doesn't matter. But yeah, it's <laughs> it's on the hanger. Yes, you're right. It's just because I only have one nail here and I can't put more on the wall. So this is the solution. I think it works pretty well. <laughs> anyway, oh, and, and I forgot. I also have a little cheap, inexpensive um, bench vice. I didn't need anything bigger or stronger for now. So that's what I use and it's actually enough for me for now <laughs> um yeah so that's pretty much everything um if you're looking to upgrade your bench if you're looking for something like this then i would definitely recommend it you can adjust it to your needs and you can be sure that this is really gonna last you forever and yeah Hope you've enjoyed this little bench tour. Let me know if you'd like to see like a whole space tour. I would love to give you that little tour again. And for now, that's all. Thank you so much for watching today. 
and I will see you in the next video. Bye!